Welcome to the Big Fat Mixed Media Tribe and in this video we will be unboxing the Scrawler Box March 21 box. Box arrived a week after it was announced and since I've been subscribing to the Scrawler Box this is the first time the box arrived this quickly. And while we are at the bookkeeping um, I will answer the question that I get asked quite often. This box comes from UK to Europe and it costs around 25 euros including delivery and this sum uh, is small enough to not have any additional customs charges so that's why if you are in Europe I recommend this box from the bottom of my heart. So let's dive into this box and we see that it is in this bright greenish yellow color so spring is coming and let's open the magazine and this time the box was created by a, an American artist and in the magazine you see the interview with the artist and another interesting things like the artworks created by the subscribers of the box this was I think January box and here is the artwork Ooh, created by the artist for us so you see the colors Ooh, very very interesting uh, let's see a little bit of information about the artist it is an American artist Shane Vorhaben <laughs> and he has a very interesting uh, description of himself calling himself an old artist entertainment entertainer and a future hairstylist <laughs> so he has a sense of humor that's good <laughs> so let's open the a drawing paper pad and um, again as always in scholar boxes they impress me with the paper this is a very serious thickness 250 gram drawing paper it is uncoated, but it's very, very, very smooth. So I think that if you would try to shade with alcohol markers, it might work on this paper. And this time the pad is very generous, whole 12 pages. Very happy with this. So let me remove the box. And let's open the packet. This time it is lighter than last box, so I assume that we will not get paint, but we are getting markers. So, as always, there is a sticker. I'm trying to find the right way up. And the description of the products. And here they are. Ooh, a whole bunch of markers. Yay. But let's start with the candy. Uh, this is the thing that always makes me smile. A lot of craft suppliers include candy in their subscription boxes, but the uh, scroller box is the only one who matches the color of the candy wrapper with the color scheme of the box. Nice touch, like it. So, let's see what do we have here. So the first one is graphic pencil. So an ordinary pencil, but from a very well-known company. I will be testing all the materials and swatching them here, but at the end of the video I will try to create something with it. So let's go to the markers. And these are, again, a very, very well-known brand, a very coveted brand, and these are Faber-Castell Pit Artist Brush Pens. We love our brush pens, don't we? And just look at the colors. So a very light blue color. Oh, it glides so beautifully on this paper. The same with green. And just because of this um, pen nib, I've decided to use it to write something, to show you how it writes. And I am not a calligrapher, that is something that I cannot do, although I would love to know how to do it very much. 
but I haven't learned it yet, so I just tried to write it as good as I can, and it writes beautifully with the thin lines and the thick lines. Wonderful marker. And this beautiful orangey color. And again, thin, thin, thin lines and thick, thick, thick lines with the same uh, nib. Wonderful. And I absolutely love these three colors together. They have this vintage vibe in my eyes. So I am starting to get an idea why what I could do, maybe do with them, paint with them. So next we have the uh, la line drawing pen. So it's a black pen. It is water and fade proof. And it contains pigment ink. So it means that it will be not only waterproof, but you can color on top of it with your alcohol markers and it will not bleed. So it's a good thing to have. This one is quite thick, one millimeter. The next thing is one more brush pen. And this time it's gray. So it's the same company as the black liner, Unipin brush pen. And it's also water and fade proof and pigment ink pen. But it has a brush nib, so wonderful. Thin, thick lines, whatever your heart, fun heart fancies. And what we have here, this is a very unusual construction. Never seen anything like this before. And this is why I love scroller box surprises so much that every month there is some material I have never seen or even heard before. So this is um, a signal gel stick and it's produced by Mitsubishi Pencil <laughs> Company. That's wonderful. So I will have to look it up what it is and what else do they produce. So education my friends, education. I feel a little bit smarter after receiving every box. But in an essence, this is a gel pen. So it's a black gel pen. And it writes very smoothly and very easily. Uh, now I will see if I am able to create something using only these materials. And maybe this will be my first scroller box when I will participate in the challenge. Although I'm not an artist, what I will create will not be an artwork. But we'll see how it goes. And here it is. The colors of the markers reminded me of vintage advertisement posters. And I added the sort of spring or green and I've decided to draw a seed packet. I drew it in my art journal and I used only the colors provided in the box, so only two flowers. But I did use two stamps, the small text stamp on the bottom and this number stamp, you know, I cannot go without labels. But I honestly used the marker to ink the stamps. So it worked very, very well. And I'm quite, quite happy with it. <laughs> and um, I used the graphite pencil for shading. So limited supplies means limited supplies. And I've layered this orange pencil to draw the orange flower. And as you see, when uh, several layers applied, it turned more red than orange. The black gel pen I used to write the text and to draw around the letters of the word seeds and the black liner, which is thicker one, I used to draw the border. So I hope you enjoyed this box and it inspired you to go and create something.